In this chapter, we're going to consider the importance of monitoring and learning from your engagements. It's not surprising, and it still does happen, that businesses will go out to social media networks, spend a lot of money, and at the end of the process have no idea whether they've been successful, whether they've seen any benefit, or actually any return on investment. Campaigns don't work in isolation. Campaigns have to be part of a plan. And that plan should necessitate that you learn from and reflect upon what information you can tell from your buyer persona in relation to your content. All of the social media networks of significance provide feedback, provide data that can be used to improve, to modify and to change direction if necessary for a campaign. They can also be used to compare with others and they can be used to understand what the buyer persona is responding to. All of this means that it's worth the time and effort to analyse the data that is available to you possibly right now. There is a, a lot of data out there and ultimately it's understanding what that social network provides you and being able to understand from that social network what you need to do next. The biggest focus is on online marketing. We promote our solution online and uh, we reach our audience online. And that's why this strategy is very important for us because uh, we can analyze uh, social um, marketing campaigns which we can, um, which we can order, which we can um, assign to our team members to work and then we can analyze the effectiveness, the return on investment, even with the smallest budget reach the very targeted group of people we want. And it's very important to, to use a, those channels which work best, actually. We have a weekly meeting in the office to make sure that we are reviewing activity um, you know, quite regularly. Um, as I said, in, you know, you know, it, it, it's important to uh, review things quite a lot. Um, in a new campaign that goes live, we tend to log into statistics every day, um, but you can see a more fuller effect, especially on like overall traffic levels and organic search levels on a more longer term basis. So we have, we have key statistics that we pull from our online tools and across the business um, on a weekly basis and have that catch up in our marketing meeting meeting which allows us to make decisions on whether we continue to invest in certain areas or or indeed we need to test something new and trial something else because something's dropping off and um, so I would say weekly is a good a good um, standpoint to have from a monitoring and evaluating point of view uh, it's an ongoing process we are having monthly reports for for this uh, process uh, first of all we are asking from different departments reporting for from social media, reporting from the website, reporting from the campaign, so from the planners part. So we have one someone like a project manager actually analyzing the data and trying you know to find results from different platforms. One uh, negative of the digital advertising and platforms that there are not a lot of synergies between them. You know they are huge competitors like Facebook and Google so they are not allow, allowing third parties to you know connect figures so what you have to do is um, take results from different platforms and try to translate them in one report coming from you so there is no golden rule or a, a great platform you know taking all in one this is the, the worst thing online when it's a PPC campaign uh, every day. Um, for SEO in a weekly basis I think uh, and for content I think it's it's every hour because um, you have to see how competitors are responding, how fans are responding and especially if you are using social media for customer service you have to be there.